high octane football. We can virtually guarantee it. Two quality sides ready for battle, knowing full well they must give their best. Next on EA TV. Hello and welcome, and I can tell you it was a dry walk to the gantry today. No rain in sight. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as always, is Stuart Robson. And we can't wait for this one to start with justifiable cause. It's Hannover taking on Chelsea. Well, as always, I'm looking forward to this because both teams have strong aspects to their game. Both managers like to play attacking football, and we've got some good matchups all over the pitch. Corner awarded. Playing it in. Clearance left a bit to be desired. Under real pressure defensively. Will they pay the price? And striking the post. But it wasn't going to stand in any case with the flag raised. The initial 11 today for the hosts. Well, the 4-4-2 system relies on good combinations all over the pitch. The front two, the central midfield pairing, the fullback and winger, and of course the centre-backs. If you can get these combinations right, you'll have a good team. And here's how it looks for Chelsea. Well, it's great to see them playing with the front two, but for it to work, they need to have a good understanding. They need to link up with each other and provide a different set of skills. That's a go. And the keeper showing tremendous command. Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, capable of a better clearance than that. Threat over for now, it seems. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Stewart, in particular, what do you expect to see from him? Well, he's such a creative player, both with his passing and his ability to beat defenders. He'll have a big influence today. Could be threatening. And he clears the danger. Now in a more than decent position. Get in behind them. And the keeper there to catch it under no real pressure. James. Enzo Fernandez. Mikhailo Mudrik. What can Chelsea do from this position? That's a lovely ball. Well, racing past his man. And the keeper. And over comes the corner. And efficient defending. Good looking move. And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. He's driven in the corner. Well, it didn't worry the keeper. Say Muroya. And pushed away to safety. Wesley Fofana. Moises Caicedo. Now with James. Fernandez. Jaden Sancho. James. No possibilities in the centre. Very quick thinking there. Now the counter attack looks on. Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it.
Could be troublesome. Can he give them the advantage? And a goal to give them the lead. They have their reward. Could be troublesome. Can he give them the advantage? And a goal to give them the lead. They have their reward. Well, here's the replay. He does well to find that bit of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure to finish it off. That's a good goal. And teammates to play it to. The attack carried promise, but he's of that. This could square the game. Could be a massive turning point and momentum is with them. Well, the attack carried promise, but petered out. This could square the game, and that's exactly what has transpired. Now that could be a massive turning point, and momentum is with them. So back underway. One goal apiece here. Just mistimed his run, and the flag going up. How about the cross? Well, nearly shaving the post with that header. Fernandez. Sancho now. He has teammates around him. Oh, great vision. And coolly done in the end. Moises Caicedo. All the way through to the keeper then. Phil Neumann. Superbly. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. Superbly read and executed. So that will be all for the first half here in Hannover. Well, he normally delivers, I think that's fair to say, but he hasn't delivered in this match. Well, Derek, he's not been able to have an impact on the game so far. He's found it difficult to get on the ball, but credit to the opposition. They've played really well in that midfield area. So they get the ball rolling in the second half. Even Steven here. So little to choose between the sides. Sancho well he stopped them in their tracks delivering it into the box cleared away comprehensively it's a bit of a struggle for both sides to could be in for both sides to keep could be in and he scored not once but twice they simply cannot stop him and no wonder he's enjoying himself what a good goal well underway again it's a narrow 2-1 lead as things stand Up, plenty of pressure. Losing possession. And playing it through. Can they stop it going in? An attack full of promise.
advantageous situation here for Chelsea developing. But the danger averted for now. And passing it through. But how well he did to react in that manner. And we have 30 minutes to go. Palmer with it. Possession lost by Chelsea here. Promising attack this. Crossing opportunity. Thumps clear. Well read to ease the pressure. then let's see how it affects the match splendid tackle and a throw in coming up Fogelzama and in the right position to make sure it didn't go all the way through he's in here Possession lost. Just 15 minutes remaining. Malo Gusto. Palmer. Sancho now. And Chelsea have given us away. And the attack looks promising. Dame. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. On the attack in the closing phase. But timely defending when it mattered. Jaden Sancho. He has teammates around him. Dame. And running it back. And the supporters think it's on. And inches away. Didn't miss by very much at all. Gusto, Caicedo, now with James, well a growing sense of frustration, just can't get near the ball, couldn't keep the ball, he could pick out the teammates, it's there for him, Team there for the goalkeeper. Well, I have to say, these fans have been excellent. They still believe they're going to get back into this. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. Oh, a nice ball over the top to chase. And there goes the final whistle. Three massive points for them in the relegation battle. 
And I wonder, will we look back on today as the turning point in their season, Stuart? Well, that's a massive win for them, isn't it? They played so much better today. They showed a lot of passion. Hopefully, this sets the tone for the remaining games. Well, Christopher Nkunku is the sort of player who can dismantle any defence, and he was at the peak of his powers in this one. Well, he looked a top-class player today. Every time he touched the ball, he was a threat, and he worked so hard for the team as well. What a good display that was.